Yeah. Oh, I'm not. Okay, right. right. She's going to ruin it. She's going to ruin it. Sometimes I, I, I wonder if you can use uh, shrooms as a way to tolerate a fucking No, we did that person. the night I met you at that party because <laughs> it was <laughs> awkward. I was doing shrooms that night, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So did you didn't want to be there either. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> so we actually... Uh, yeah, the guy that you met last night, John, the guy with the gray hair, the musician. Yeah, he's cool. Guy. Yeah, nice guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he really enjoyed uh, chatting with you. By the oh, way, I want to take him to that gay bar. He wanted to go check <laughs> out. Yeah. My daughter on the way to your house was like, "How long are we going to be there?" Yeah, I could tell there was a little of that. And going I was on. like, "Who's well, half an hour?" Yeah, and then if it's cool, I'll get my wife and go back. And then she was when we left. I was like, "That wasn't too long, right?" Was it okay? Because she had just come from some all day morning thing. Yeah. She was like, "It was fine. I wanted to stay. I was having fun." Because she was busting my balls. She yeah, called me out yeah. for lying. So yeah, that was She was great, having yeah. a great time. Yeah. Um, and I was like, well, we need the opposite of our safe word. Because usually we'll say like pomegranate or something right. when we want to leave. Right. To not, and so we don't insult the host. Yes. Yeah. Hey, your party sucks. We're going to go. Out. We're out. Yeah. Uh, why yeah. are you leaving? This is not fun. This is, this is gay. <laughs> <laughs> you suck at parties. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, we need a, yeah, we need a word to say like, hey, I'm okay to stay. Yeah. Like, this is fine. That was uh, Josh's quote that he's always had from whenever like him and his friends would get too crazy and destroy things at a party and people get mad at him <laughs> and say, I'm sorry. sorry I partied at your party. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought this was a party. Yeah. Um, I, I was uh, I, I actually enjoyed that because that's what my, my son does to me. Like anytime yeah. I even even the slightest embellishment, it's like. He's like, that's not how it happened. It's like, yeah, yeah, dude, fuck you. Like, I can't like just minorly embellish this. No, back. it's you more important know? for them to correct people than if it's funny. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was trying to make it funny. I'm sorry. Yeah. Now Pardon. you ruined everything, and this <laughs> now it's awkward. Pardon me for trying to be affable in front of this group of people. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a Look, bitch. we can round some numbers up. It's fine. You know about rounding. You went to high school. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of school, my son got into this school. He applied for. Uh, that has the goats. Oh, yeah. And then his friend's dad. It's the opposite of big. Yes. Okay. <laughs> El poquito oh, po school. But uh, this friend's dad, we were at the pickup. All the drama happens at drop off and pick up. Oh, yeah. Dude, it's fucking yeah. nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. This guy was like, oh, I heard you guys are going to the smart school. I was like, oh, I'm sorry that your son is retarded. Yeah. <laughs> Am I supposed to feel bad? Like, they didn't even apply because they were like, there's no way this kid's getting in there. Yeah. So I was like. He's given. This is the same guy that said he was going to uh, the Ukraine. He was flirting with my wife. He texted her in the morning and said, "Good morning." And I was like, "Fuck you, dude." Who? Te yeah, ten a.m. He texted your wife, "Good morning." Yeah, like we started. That's him. weird. He wanted to be our friend. He wanted to hang out with us. We the kids are hanging out, and then he started saying he was going to Ukraine, and then he never went. And I was like, "Hey, are you you just telling people you're going to go to the Ukraine? How long are you going to milk that for?" Yeah. Like that, yeah. <laughs> How much bragging can you get off of until you like? It's only lasts for two months until you should be gone by now. What was his? What was going to happen with him in Ukraine? What was the thing? He said he was going to go help. He was a vet. He was going to go help. Yeah, help catering. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is he going to do like child care while the the real men are off getting blown up? Or yeah. like, <laughs> so now it's awkward every time we see him because it's like we don't want to talk to you. You've we have enough. You know, you can, you're supposed to eject negativity from your life, but there's yeah. places that you can't get rid of it right. at. Like your work right. and your family, you have to deal right. with certain things. But in your personal life, you start, as you get older, to lose tolerance for like, I'm already tapped out on whiners yeah. from my family and my work. I can't do this in my spare time. Right. And then I go to fucking open mics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Dude. obviously it's fine. Dude, a few a few years ago, there was this family. And I used to walk the kids to school, and uh, this is when we live in California. I walk the kids to school, and every every few mornings, and sometimes consecutively mornings in a row, I run into this one family, and we'd walk to school together, and it was like a fifteen minute walk, totally fine, you know. And the folks were real nice, and uh, after maybe a month of that, they were like, "Hey, why don't why don't you come over and?" Uh, We'll we'll go to the school event together, and then you can like come back, and we can have drinks. And so we went to the school event together, and we had drinks, and it was like really nice, right? Like yeah. it was fun. The wife's kind of hot, so that's actually a little, just <laughs> yeah. a little bit of a benefit. And Something she, to look at. Yeah, yeah and she social wasn't lubricant. Of social a hot girl there, <laughs> right? And she it's wasn't. Like everybody had a couple beers. <laughs> exactly, and yeah, exactly. Hey, we're having fun. And she <laughs> wasn't super annoying, so I was like, okay, this is this is okay. So we go back to the house, and we literally go into their backyard. 
and there's like two other couple friends there and they're like so what church do you go to oh and no. I'm like, no no here we go and i'm like oh no like not not us and they're like oh well like we go to whatever it is and have you like heard the good and i'm like fuck <laughs> just say satanic temple of salem massachusetts <laughs> that's what i do yeah. i got in trouble with somebody at work i have a, ch- a cloth with the devil on it and it says have you tried the cheese and i put it on my covid divider to block the sun because uh, in the yeah. early morning the sun goes right in my eyes yeah it keeps getting moved because we have like a bunch of muslim people or something <laughs> <laughs> they don't like like somebody at my work doesn't like pictures of satan yeah, yeah. and it's a cute cartoon like what if I had uh, those wheels on my skateboard with the devil on them or little shorties right, or whatever? Like right. it's, yeah. it's fun, but I just moved it. I put. I was like, I don't want to offend anybody. And then the same people put on worship music during the team's meeting mm. when you're like supposed to think of like at the the break. I was and I just threw my headphones down. I was like, I'm not trying to be performative, but I cannot listen to this. <laughs> wait, 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 what is it? The break. Somebody put. Like, it's just like a break at the team's meeting. In between stuff where you're supposed to, they treat us like children. You have to think of things you're th- grateful for. Oh, that's so stupid. Yeah. <laughs> so you can put on a song. And I always put on something chill, whatever. Yeah. But somebody put on, yeah, praise and worship. And I was like, oh, oh, oh God. So yeah. what? what is worse, that situation where you show up and there's a couple other couples and they start talking to you about God and Jesus? Yeah. Or one, if the same situation happened and they started trying to like get you to, Join them in Amway, yeah. <laughs> or oh. uh, buy a timeshare. Yeah. It's like it's the it's same. A, it's the same. It's the same kind of thing. Yeah, right? yeah. There was a guy who was talking about being a preacher, and he was like, "I probably shouldn't because I'm an insurance salesman." And I was like, "That's the same thing. It's the same thing." Yeah, you're you you already have the skills. Just apply them to the other thing. with some fake outcome, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a negative future, and then you make them oh, pay for shit. it. Shit. Yesterday, my mom was talking about how gambling is a sin. Yeah, and I was like, "So you don't have insurance?" Yeah. Because that's what insurance is. Yeah. yeah. Insurance, you're paying in, betting that nothing bad is going to happen right. to it's you. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. a huge, it's a huge, uh, it's a huge gamble on well, the company's part, right? Well, uh, even on, on your part, because you're gambling that something will happen bad up until this point. Yeah. And if it happens over that point, yeah. then you're fucked. That's, right. that's the gamble. Well, on enough your people part. did it where you feel like you have to get insurance just because everyone has it. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. the main <laughs> reason. Like, <laughs> well, everyone else, if you don't, and then other person has it, well, in, then in, you don't want to be the one that doesn't have it. In Texas is, uh, is Texas is car in its car insurance. Like you have to have it by law. You do, right? Yes. Yeah. It's the first thing they look at. And homeowner's insurance, you have to have it because of the mortgage, right? Yeah, mortgage. Insurance is part of your mortgage, yeah. Like, if you don't have a mortgage, you don't have to carry homeowner's insurance. Right. Like, you don't, if you rent, you don't have to carry renter's insurance. It's not legally. Or if you own the house outright, you also don't, right? Probably not. I I guess not. Why would you have to? Yeah, if you have a lien on your house, then you do. But if, I mean, there's nothing, there's no one to force you except for the cops. And I don't think it's actually a law. I don't think it's a law. Yeah. That you have to have home insurance. And and health insurance, I think if you don't have it, then you get dinged on your taxes because of Obamacare, right? I think that was the last thing that, that was what the Supreme Court um, found. They, They considered it a tax. So you have to pay your tax. Right. But uh, somebody was telling me that they got rid of that. But I don't know. Dude. And then it was another girl at work coughing like Bismarcky, basically. Like, huh? Huh? <laughs> she had allergies. And people complain about my breathing at work. And I clear my throat sometimes if I smoke cigarettes the night before I bring holes. Yeah. And you get weird looks. But this girl was like, obviously, everybody was like, oh, my God, go home. And I was like, maybe she'll die. Yeah, <laughs> and then I felt bad. Like I wonder if people wish I would die when I'm going, like clearing my throat at work. Would it, would that make you feel bad if you knew people were thinking that that you might die? No, oh, every think. animal does that when yeah. other animals look yeah. sick. <laughs> hey, maybe they'll die. We can eat them. It's called Earth. Yeah, it was. It'd be okay. I mean, obviously she's allergic to something. She went home because of it the day before, and then she came back the next day and kept honking like a dead goose. No. <laughs> She had like croup or some shit. It's I don't like know. Whooping I don't care. cough or something. I don't want to know. Yeah. It's not. It's personal. <laughs> you know what I don't like is about half of people. I find their sneezes incredibly annoying. Oh yeah, yeah. girls that try to be cute. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I Sneeze like you can tell whenever people have like almost like attention seeking sneezes. Yeah. Right. You know, it's really weird. Yeah. My uh, old my old roommate would sneeze so loud, way too loud. Yeah. So do you stifle or do you? I have literally the most 
generic sneeze in achoo. the world. I literally go a chew. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not loud and I control it. And it, I get just as much of a good, good deep sneeze out of it as the people have to go, blah, 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 or whatever it is that they do when they sneeze. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kristen's like, Kristen's annoyed because when I sneeze, I literally do a hachu. She's like, yeah. so you, that's just natural that you actually go a chew. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it's natural. Like, I'm not like, yeah, I'm not blowing it up here. I'm, I'm yeah. literally go a chew. Yeah, like that's <laughs> that's it. Like that's these in the car and seeing where the shit goes. Oh, like yeah. if you'll see a glob on the steering wheel, yeah. that's every time I sneeze, I'm like, I need to make yeah. sure this doesn't go somewhere. Yeah, that's I'm more interested in the product than right. the sound. Than the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't want to ruin so, any electronics. I will say though, like after even if someone has a very chill sneeze, after like three, I'm like, yeah, okay, okay, are we are fucking we, yeah, done yet? Yeah. Can we like, which is uh, I think it's a huge sign of uh sociopathy like i'm a fucking sociopath like the yeah. fa- like no one can control how many you know, times they fucking sneeze like it's not like they're like oh i'm gonna i hear i'm gonna do it again. you're not a sociopath anymore now you're just on the spectrum no it's just like <laughs> light blue like there's psychopath is on the spectrum like there's a part of the spectrum where people break babies' arms yeah and that's supposed to be tolerated and accepted as part of the beautiful rainbow <laughs> right it's speaking of uh speaking of on the spectrum and uh you know, sociopaths and whatnot. Um, last night, everyone's le- like the uh, the the dude we we're just talking about, John and his wife, are just about to walk out the door. They're the last people there. It's you know four hours after the thing started. Totally reasonable, like yeah. for for a middle aged dude's birthday party for people to stay from three to seven is great. Like they're about to leave. I'm about to have my night to myself. Yeah, and who fucking walks in? But Okay. It's like, oh, fucking great. So now Did I have fly to fly down from one of the trees in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> he smelled the barbecue. <laughs> was he circling overhead? And he was you, like, I was he's looking, waited for everybody to leave. I was looking for a widow, but you I'll just, come to an empty yeah. party. You That's took fine. a nap and he thought you were dead and saw your wife in the window. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is he dead? He's dead, right? Uh, he stopped moving for three seconds. So I'm coming in. He yeah. used barbecue and he thought it was dead man flesh. <laughs> I smelled something. <laughs> well, I'm Rob, horny. Robert Downey Jr. just won Best Supporting Actor. I was going for Ryan Gosling because I wanted Ryan Gosling as Ken to be the only Oscar that was won by Barbie just to piss off all the bitchy little people who are like mad that Margot Robbie didn't get yeah. nominated or whatever. But yeah. yeah, we're watching the Oscars. The Oscars are literally on while we were recording. And by the way, it's the God Awful Gospel Hour. It's been 15 minutes and I, we, I haven't even, awful. I haven't even um, acknowledged the fact that we are recording a podcast right now. But um <laughs> It's uh, Chris's birthday today. That it is. Happy birthday to Chris. Happy you're gay, you Jew. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a punk rock show on Friday oh, yeah. for the first time in 36 years. Which punk rock show was this? Uh, Inse- in- Intersect. There, It was at the Rio Friendly Mart on campus. Yeah. Yeah. The kids, my kids just went to the Rio Friendly Mart for a punk show a few weeks ago. Or, okay. Actually, no. The <laughs> night that we met. Okay. They... I don't know if we mentioned it, but they were at the Rio Friendly Mart. That's how the, cool I am. I do the shit that your kids think yeah, is cool. Well, fuck, man. <laughs> uh, I guess I need to get out of here because I'm not that cool. How how was that? It, it's, uh, it was crust core, so it smelled like the opposite of deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> so this <laughs> goes along with the girl coughing at work. I think the new telework policy should be instead of half and half or day on, week off or whatever. Yeah. If you don't feel well, work from home. Yeah. There's a lot of that should be an option that you yeah. can work from home with. Yeah. Like if you have a headache. If you really, really don't want to just take a sick day. Yeah. What about your period? Should you be able to work home for your, for your period? Yeah. I mean, for up. all of our fucking sake, yeah. right? Like, just work home when you're on your period. I mean, who's the real victim? No, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go live in a cave yeah. down by the river. Uh, yeah. It's in the Bible. Yeah. Okay? You're supposed to go yeah. around the river bend and live in a cave <laughs> and wash bleed. yourself until you are no longer unclean yeah. sure you in the river down river not and up then, river from us you know we a week later you blood. come back and and you're all and we don't have to deal with yeah. you while you're on it right. you know the rest of society the rest of the tribe right. doesn't have to deal right. with you right. i mean really if you look back at it they got a lot of shit right yeah. back in the day oh, they knew, figured yeah. a lot of things was out was the word of god obviously yeah <laughs> some dumb whore kept taking her period bath up river and everybody had to bathe in her blood and they had to invent plumbing i don't trust anything that bleeds for 5 days and doesn't die mr hat <laughs> yeah 
Well, you know the. I mean, all that shit was written. I mean, it's, it was it was passed down by by word, right by mouth. No. It was an oral tradition that was passed down. Mm. How many? How long have we been human beings? We've been human beings for two hundred fifty thousand years yeah. our, in our modern form. Some of us, and so, <laughs> some of us who are married have been alive for too long. Yeah. Uh, so the Bible dates back to what five thousand years BC. Yeah. So that's. Two hundred and forty-five thousand years of just repeating the same shit over and over and yeah. over. That's where that comes from. Mm-hmm. That comes from the the women on their periods causing the ter- the tribe to tear its other tear itself apart because yeah. they were such bitches to each other. Yeah. Yeah. So finally, after a hundred thousand years of that, the elders got together and decided, you know what? When you go, when y'all in your period, you go live in a cave, okay? Yeah. And then uh, the rest of society just chugs along, and actually, it's a little bit nicer when you guys are gone. <laughs> yeah, just, but then, yeah, but then when you come back yeah. and uh, you're pleasant and you're over it for yeah, three more weeks, right. and everything's good. That's what the Bible is. That's what all those horrible, horrible. I mean, people were eating pigs probably for a thousand years and dying. Oh, yeah. So finally, they were like, "Hey, God says you can't eat pigs. Yeah, right. Separate you know? the fatty part of the liver before you yeah. put it on the fire." Right. And then, and and they were smart about it. They wrote that shit down. Yeah. So that like if it just if it started to feel like oh maybe it's not nice to do it, it's like nope, we wrote it down. Yeah. God yeah. said it. She's going to the fucking cave. Yeah. Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> Send her to the cave. Chris, are you familiar with the Ass Penny sketch? I don't think so. It's an so. old YouTube video. It's this guy. He's kind of again sociopath. He's talking about things that bother him in traffic. He's playing golf with his buddy, and his buddy's like, oh, I don't get mad when that happens because of my ass pennies. And he's like, what? He's like, every day I put a couple pennies up my ass, and then I put them into circulation. So if anybody bothers me on the world, I'm just like, you probably touched my ass penny one time. Right. (laughs) So we all have like little weird things we do like that that are fuck the world type of little compulsions. Right, yeah. And I found mine the other day. It was I pull out from my kid's junior high, and I can see Mopac where I have to go commute. Yeah. And if it stopped, and I'm not looking forward to getting on there, I cut through Whataburger and try to. Oh, kill, I do that shit. Yeah, I try to kill myself with grease. I'm like, fuck the world, fuck life. Yeah. If I'm gonna sit in traffic, I'm gonna eat a honey butter chicken biscuit <laughs> yeah, yeah. and a jalapeno cheddar sausage <laughs> egg and cheese biscuit. Oh man, goddamn. And some tater fingers. Ugh. And not coffee, Coke. Yeah. Oh man. Maybe I'll die before I get Start. to work. <laughs> so yeah, mine is that, but it's dry cutting through parking lots to get around red lights. Oh yeah. I do. I do everything I can to not obey red lights, mm-hmm. because this city is a piece of shit. Yeah. This city is designed so that I personally <laughs> have to get to every light as soon as it turns red and wait through the entire cycle. And you know what happens to a guy whenever every single light turns red as soon as you get to it. Eventually, he starts running red lights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as soon as yeah. eventually he starts raping donkeys. Yeah, yeah. Again, yeah, yeah. That's one of my little get take it back. Chris, it's do like, you have any ass penny things? Well, I mean, I mean, if you don't want anybody to know about it, you can keep it to yourself. Probably just drunk driving. Yeah. Uh, there's a little, <laughs> little bit of that. Uh, I used to do this thing. I haven't done this in a long time, but I used to drive this country road, and. I would close my eyes as I was. Oh, the call of the it. void. Yeah, the call of the void. I don't actually. I've never heard of that. Yeah, before. yeah. That's that's where that's where you just have this compulsion to like. I'm just gonna close my eyes and let it happen, or I'm gonna just like pull off, you know, go off into the ditch. Yeah, and that's the call. That's that's what they call it, the call of the void. Yeah, I like. I mean, yeah. I like that name. That yeah. that name's. But I would I would just like close my eyes. It's driving Santiago Canyon Road. <laughs> it's fucking. 10 30 at night it's a windy road through like the mountains and shit yeah and i would just close my eyes and i'd be like okay close like, count i'd be like count to 10 i would hear dunk, 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 dunk. i'm gonna, like <laughs> and then i wouldn't hear dunk, dunk, dunk. i'm like am i on my side am i on their side like what's going on right <laughs> nice. now yeah maybe you did die and this is heaven that's true <laughs> it's comedy uh, podcast heaven <laughs> so i went and did some mics on monday oh yeah and we ended up at this place called lefty's brick bar yeah yeah and uh there was something going on there you, it's, it's one of those where you look around you know when the three amigos went to that bar and they were thought it was a nice bar and they started looking around and they were like this is a outlaw bar everyone here is a murderer yeah. <laughs> i started looking around lefties and i was like dudes 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 holding hands. <laughs> There's something happening at this place. <laughs> Why are they having an open mic here? Are they trying to trap us? Yeah. yeah. They, do they like funny boys? And then there were these two bald old guys sitting at the bar. 
And then this college guy came and joined them and stood between them. They both were patting him on the back and told him to go get a chair. And I was like, that little twink just went on an Easter egg hunt and found two old bald dude eggs. <laughs> He's having an Easter Christ celebration. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, shout out Heath Underhill. He's going to join us for one of the video game streams eventually. He walked around with me all night long. Um, he's a very talented young man, but yeah, with lefties was in the atrium. So I did atrium comedy for the first time under the stars. And it was just, it's one of those street level bars that has a patio that faces a street, but it's attached to like a condo. So everybody at that, con- maybe it was a gay condo. I don't know. Yeah. Was well, it's a east, it's on the east side, right? Yeah. And it's a bar. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a pretty good chance it's, it's a gay yeah. It's just gay. It's gay. On a long enough timeline. <laughs> long, all long bars enough on the east side. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually. Yeah, exactly. And then I did the Creek Gamble, mic where they roll the dice and you get however many minutes. Oh. And I got two minutes. So I just did one-liners. And then the host was like, oh, he's going to do great on Kill Tony soon. And I was like, you gave me two minutes. Yeah. You want me to tell a fucking story? Nobody cares who I am here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this is all comedians. I'm going to try to get one of them to laugh. Right. You know you made a, you did good at a com- comedian only show. They're all looking at their phone, and you, one guy goes, Tuh. yeah, and he goes back to the yeah, 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 totally. totally. If you yeah. get the guy to look up to from his phone and say yeah. a consonant, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I got a syllable. One Perfect. Can I buy a bell? <laughs> I'm good. good. Yeah. I did that to what's his name, the Argentinian guy. Yeah, he, he made some him. really dark joke that first night at Regal Roots, and I kind of went <laughs> yeah. like while I was looking at my phone, and he's like, oh, I got one. Yeah, gotcha, man. But there's drama. There's comedy drama in Austin right now. I don't know if you guys heard about it. Dun, dun, dun. Somebody went to the one of the mics. Creek always ends in a mic every night. So you can go to Creek every night and do some weird g- gimmick mic where they like throw a dart at you or electrify yeah. your so, neck so, or so, some, oh, you know, have well, dice. Or I'm into that. So that's they heckle mm-hmm. you. They have, they have to theme them out. They can't just yeah. go, there's a mic every night. Somebody put swastikas on his chest and took his shirt off and said, I'm taking the swastika back. And then the the owner of of Creek posted, "This person is not welcome here anymore." Let's swastikas are never funny. <laughs> and we were just talking about Frank Miller's murder bitches last time you were here. Uh, that was the last time I've seen the swastikas on the nipples. That the chesty <laughs> Nazi girl from yeah. Batman. Yeah, which they didn't even put that in the movie. Right. In Dan Snyder's movie. So I'd, Donnie and I went to the movies on Thursday. We went to oh. the Bob Bullock IMAX Dune. Yeah. Did you share popcorn? Uh, no, we shared. Uh, hot dog and we met in the middle sure. like, like lady in the tramp <laughs> oh that's, that's we cute. were surrounded by gay dudes did yeah. you notice that it was huh. like lefty's brick bar <laughs> it I, I was a guy sh- next to me and every time anything happened he'd go let's go it was really he, oh really he kept saying let's go let's go wait for what let's go it's the new that's cool it's oh. the new the kids say it is oh. off like, let's hell go. yeah okay. let's go it's the new hell yeah i thought it was like let's go to the bathroom yeah like, <laughs> he saw me share a hot dog with donnie and got jealous he's like, what the fuck why not me <laughs> he bought like three hot dogs and came back <laughs> look at all these hot dogs look at all these hot dogs but we couldn't get a really good seat because it was the 745 showing we got there at seven and the line was already around the corner so because it's first yeah. come first serve there still old school style right? yeah they should have they should definitely have assigned seats at the bob bullock but uh, it wasn't bad. Oh, we weren't. Yeah, we were just. We were just over on one side, uh, halfway up. So we weren't like down in the front or anything. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. It was good, man. It was. Uh, it was uh, the like the perfect next part of that story yeah. after the first movie. Nice. It was really there awesome. were seats, better seats behind us, but they were for people with mobility issues. And I was like, I'm gonna get one of those and do. My friend John Stringer does this gig gag at the gym. If he's doing weights and somebody asks for his place, he's like, okay. <laughs> yeah, picks his <laughs> legs up on the floor. Him, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna get accused of using the mobility chair for no reason and fall on the ground. Like, Duh, I'm retarded. No, there are such thing as invisible di- disabilities, Josh. So yeah. we could have an invisible disability where we need to sit in those chairs. So yeah, I, 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 had, I had this one time. I I was uh, it was not me personally, but I went to dinner. There's I was in school and. Me and this guy were gonna meet with our girlfriends for dinner, my wife at the time, and or my my wife now, my girlfriend at the time. We show up at this restaurant and he pulls in the fucking handicap spot and he gets out and he's just walking. I'm like, What's up with the handicap spot? He's like, Oh yeah. I'm a sex offender. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I got in an accident a couple of years ago. I have like a lot of nerve damage. I'm like, you're getting on my nerves. <laughs> you're, just, you're just fucking walking around. Also, there's a ton of empty spots yeah, here. Yeah. Like, you're just going to pull in right into that one. And, and you're like, like, look, see? <laughs> I got a wobbler. 
So you saw the old Dune. You liked yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know how there's like the two cultures? They're like the, the main family. They're like Spanish or whatever, yeah. like they're bullfighters. Yeah. And so they're like Catholic Mexicans or something. Something like that. Yeah. And then he goes to the desert and meets like the Muslim the people. desert people, yeah. So in the next one, like he becomes Muslim and then he decides that he's Jesus. And then his mom says, no, you're Jewish. And then at the end, he's like, no, actually, I'm a gay sex Nazi who wants to fuck in a Bjork video. <laughs> and then he becomes Mormon at the end. That's basically the movie. <laughs> you did spoil that's, it, you yeah, son of a bitch. I, I asked you if you were going to spoil it at the, the beginning of this thing, and you said no, and then you just fucking did it. Well, those are the parallels. That's not what they call it. They call it the binages, whatever. Right, right, yeah. The, the boozy jizz fetish people. But Donnie and I got a case of the sillies as soon as we sat down and got a beer, and we started doing bits about uh, Iron Claw movie, but if it was the Vince McMahon family. Yeah. where the dad is like you're number one on my list boy but the rankings could change and if you become the champion you could do do on bitches someday <laughs> and if you reach the top of wrestling you can shit on every girl in here and you know you're number one but yeah i know you want to go number two <laughs> <laughs> and then donnie was like you know that iron claw move they do is that's how they push the girl's head down to their anus <laughs> 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 and all everybody around it, we were giggling like homos and all the people around us were like visibly annoyed. Like it was the awkward part before the movie, where yeah. like nothing has started yet, no ads. And we're like, or dude, we're giving you a free show. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah. Welcome to the, the episode God-awful. of the Goblin Awful Gospel Hour. You didn't <laughs> have to download it. You just, all you had to do was go to the movie. Yeah. And then at the end, you know, he had a lot of speeches. He stands with his dagger and he's like, "Everyone, follow me." And Donnie was like, "I need to do that with people and just be like." You don't have to be a fucking retard. Yeah. <laughs> you can be normal. You can go at a green light. No one no one will believe that. They're, they're like, no, yeah. I have to be a retard. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. And so actually, we were, I was saying that on the drive home. I was like, you know, I just realized that people being retards is what gives me ammo to complain about retards. Yeah. Yeah. So I need people to be retards right. in order for right. me to make jokes and make fun of them and talk shit about them being retards. Okay. And it fucking sucks. So... He's the Joker of retards. Yeah, you I, complete me. Yeah, I, <laughs> what would I do without you? I, I'm a dog chasing a car. I felt this. I felt this too, and I felt it in another way where I'm like, I'm really glad there's so many retards out there. It means my kids won't have that much competition for like. <laughs> it means my kid gets into the school and, first yeah, before yeah. everybody else. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like your kid gets to go to the opposite of big, and like yeah. then they get jobs, and all, but then you hit a critical mass where you're like. Wait, we can't have this many retards. Yeah. Though. There's plenty <laughs> there's for me much. to make fun of, and there's plenty for yeah. my kids to do better than, but we can't, not everyone can be retarded. Well, yeah, it's, like, yeah. it's, it's like the, the trains have to run, you know? Right, like, yeah, <laughs> exa- exactly. Can we just have just Things enough have to work. retards? Yeah. Somebody has to sweep the high school floor. Too. Yeah, planes <laughs> can't fall out of the sky. Right. We need right. whatever amount of retards keeps planes flying in the sky. <laughs> Well, I like cutting through parking lots yeah, like exactly. you also, yeah. but I used to, the logic was somebody in front of me, there's a good chance that so they're going to fuck up and I'm not going to make the light if there's four people and I yep. can get through a gas station. Yeah. But now it's like someone in front of me is going to fuck up a hundred percent and I'm going to miss this light. Yeah. Like I have to go through this gas station because I know out of these, you know, two lanes of four yeah. people out of eight, one of them's going to sit on their fucking phone. Yeah. One of them's going to, I don't know, have some kind of autistic gay train spasm or something or mm-hmm. decide they're... T- you know, a fox fucking mermaid or something in the middle of traffic. That's the intersection right by my office. Like the intersection when I pull out of my garage and I go and I go to the light that's right next to me. It's like anybody at that light loses 50 IQ points. No. And there's constantly crashes all day long. What happens is whenever I go home, I go to that light and there is a left turn arrow. And it never, never fails that somebody does not go when the light turns green no. to the point where I have busted, come up out around them and turned in front of them because in they, the time that they won't go. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, fuck you. And then also, what people do is when that light turns yellow, they'll stop. Yeah. And I'm not going to do that. If I'm behind you and you stop at that light when it turns yellow, I'm going around you and I'm cutting in front of you. Yeah. I mean, I and I honk at people at that. Oh, man, I am just like, that is my nightmare intersection because it's yeah. right as I'm getting off work and I just want to go home, you know? Chris, you're, uh, one of your th- clips on TikTok got an anti-bullying comment removed. Your bit about the face sitting weight. Oh. I put it on there and then I got a notice that said, we've removed content of comments due to anti-bullying. And I was like, this is a comedy show. We want those. 
from, from the I, show. Yeah. yeah. From the, the, when I'm we're like, I want to see all the bullying comments. Right. Yeah. That's part. That's going to be great. Oh, there are people. Oh, so there was a memes? comment that they I removed. I don't know. They said something shitty, and I never will never know what it is because yeah. they removed it. Well, that's rude. I want to know. Yeah. yeah, I need to see all can't, those. I need those. Can't we like do something to say no? We're okay with the bullying. I bullying. turned it off. Yeah. Yeah. I turned off anti-bullying, and then I got three more anti-bullying things removed after that. So that's the it Chinese work. Yeah. don't understand. Yeah. But they're huh. going to get banned. TikTok is going to get turned off apparently. Yeah. Biden just signed this thing that allowed the sale of the company. So that's why there's been high traffic and I've been posting like crazy because it's like the gun thing. They yeah. think they're going to get rid of the guns so everybody's buying guns. Right. They're going to get yeah. rid of TikTok so everybody's using the fuck out of TikTok right now. I don't want them to get rid of TikTok because I don't want them to start going pee-pee in our Coke again. Yeah. Just have, <laughs> just keep doing TikTok, yeah. less pee-pee. Yeah, that was they're their gonna, play joke. They're going to have more time for pee-pee <laughs> in my Coke. <laughs> you take out TikTok. We play joke. We play joke on America. Rory Scovel was complaining that, you know, part of his comedy career is he has to know when to post clips on TikTok at the right time of day or whatever. Yeah. That's like part God of damn it. Dude. God damn algorithms. <laughs> Alg- Al- 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 algorithm. 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 Arigato. They're the arigato rhythms. The more arigato rhythms. All right, let's take a break for the algorithm. We'll begin with your second shift duty, greeting and serving guests. Good evening. Fine enough to eat today. Boy, I'll say. Well, that's great. Would you care for some ham or beef? A little both, I think. All right. Making friendly conversations like this is a big part of greeting and serving guests. At other buffet-style restaurants, guests often feel they're on their own. Once they've paid for the meal, no one pays much attention to them. At Old Country Buffet, we work hard to make sure our guests never feel that way. Every conversation you hold with a guest should begin something like this. Good evening. Or... Hi, how are you? Once you've greeted the guest, start a brief conversation. Try asking a question the guest can answer in a sentence or two. You might ask something like this. Is it still hot out there? Or this. Did you catch a game last night? Or this. Have you tried the lasagna? It's my favorite. Don't forget to hold quick conversations with our younger guests, too. Children often play a big part in deciding which restaurant their parents visit. We want them to feel welcome and special here, too. So start conversations with children by saying something like this. What grade are you in at school? Or this. Have you decided what dessert you're going to have? Or this. Do you like hot fudge sundaes? We're back, and we're talking about dumb money. The GameStop uh, show, the GameStop stonk the show, Daystop, the, day, the GameStop the game stonk, stonk movie, the Game Stonk movie, the game stonk uh, that's on Netflix. I mean, and talking uh, about the budget for Dune too. That's <laughs> some dumb money. That's some so dumb money. So yeah, the half the movie is the real story. It's Paul Dano's character, and then of course Seth Rogen and all the people who are yeah, like the hedge fund, the, the hedge fund yeah. stuff or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yep. But instead of the real people who were the GameStop, what do you call the the retards, the the apes together strong, the, yeah. the GameStop apes, yeah. mm-hmm. 98% of those people were fat, loser, basement, white guys. Yeah. That's what the Wall Street bets are. Bros. Right. But because it's a, you know, a Hollywood movie, they had to have... America Ferreira. America Ferreira as the struggling single mom who happens to be, you know, what, uh, Hispanic. On, on or Reddit all the yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. she's yeah. the one who's on yeah. Reddit all yeah. the time. Yeah. Is she like a nurse? There's she's one with a, like nurse. a nurse. Yeah, she's a nurse. And yeah. then she's showing it to all the, all the all people. All the nurse people, yeah. And then there has to be the lesbian college roommates. The, the people yeah. at UT. Yeah. yeah, the ones that... In, yeah, UT. Yeah. So basically, they made up some diverse uh, people yeah. to be Wall Street apes or whatever. Instead of, I'm shocked. Yeah, instead of the actual people that Pulled. they were, and I just sat there. I was watching it with my dad. My dad was staying over, and uh, I, I was like, "That's not. That's not what those people were like. They were oh. not a Hispanic single mother nurse who's all on the Wall Street bet subreddit, and they were not a pair of lesbian college roommates. No." They were not. That that's so ridiculous. I, I also may have a dissenting opinion on this, but like, um, like I'm not I'm not just into like fuck rich people for the sake of fuck rich people. It's like, like this movie was very much. I mean, you know what the movie was. Yeah. Like it, it was very much like, 
oh, we're going to like show these rich fucks like who's boss. And it's like, no, GameStop was a shitty company. Yeah. It's based on a shitty old business model that's not not supposed to work. Like yeah, They had $60 billion and they lost like $2 billion. It's not a problem. The, for the rich folks? I know the, the rich guys were losing a lot of money. That's why they shut down Robinhood. Okay. They made it to where you were yeah. no, you could no longer trade GameStop yeah. stocks on Robinhood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They were on the hook for like, they was getting up to like, like three hundred billion dollars, and he had to like get loans from all the other billionaires. Yeah, like yeah. the billionaires had to collude to well, stop they're, it. They're, yeah, the way that the the um, the shorts work, and I don't know, talk about all this shit, but like the way that it works is that you can lose limitless, like a limitless kind of amount of money, yeah. right? So like it is bad for them, but like I don't know I, the the whole thing of just like oh like these guys they're gonna like sink GameStop we're gonna like stick it to them yeah I just don't GameStop was dying during COVID. GameStop like, GameStop's been dying for dying. fifteen years yeah. Yeah. It's just all that means is that they're still here yeah 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 and these guys betting against GameStop like the or GameStop for GameStop it's like yeah of course they're betting against GameStop. yeah they're gonna bet that GameStop's gonna go down but it it is also like. It just shows like the power of if you can get a big enough mob behind you. Yeah. What what you can do. Yeah. I wanted GameStop to die because I wanted physical media to be obsolete because I wanted buildings to be obsolete because I didn't want to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Starts Your motivations the, are so start specific. with disc based <laughs> media yeah. and it ends at my cubicle. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of buildings being obsolete, I was thinking based on all this TikTok stuff and uh, this other video site I've been putting our videos on, which I found out is like a Trump thing or something. Like all yeah, the he's gamers, been putting our shit on Rumble. Rumble. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. It's doing okay. I don't it's care. It's fine. It's, it's a place to put a, the content. Yeah. But everybody hey, on there, even the video Republicans game, buy shoes too. Yeah. Right? <laughs> even the video game streamers, every once in a while, they're like, "Hey, this is great. Final Fantasy. Also, Biden's stupid, right? Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, let's level up our yeah. materia. Yeah. Like, oh, you have to like say something. Yeah. On there, I guess, to be popular. But I think we should start a social media company in international waters because then we're not beholden to anyone. Yeah. What do you need? A server farm? You can fit that on a barge. Easy. On, in yeah. a bunch of storage containers. Right. And then there's no law. Yeah. And then there's no money. And then there's no anything. There's no, you don't have any liability. It's the, pirates. You have to worry about pirates. Yeah. The, the only potential trick is getting the internet connection to the barge. Yeah, that's, that's what, what Elon Musk is going for. under the water. Oh, that's Elon Musk would do it. He would definitely. Oh, he would definitely. Real free speech cables in international waters. Yeah, yeah. I, he would. He would definitely do that. All the internet cables going across the bottom of the water. Just tap in. You're just, <laughs> just going. You're just going to like snorkel down a, there and snorkel down there. Splice yourself off in, a yeah. piece of internet. Like, uh, hang on, guys. I'm just going to. I'm going to go down there for a minute. I'll yeah, be right yeah. back. Why is your boat not moving? Are you anchored? <laughs> sort of. I mean, yeah. To the internet cables. Yeah, we're not going anywhere. Yeah. But yeah somehow it's a man's world. Like games, dogs. Those were all dudes. The rich people, and uh, but I don't understand how it's a man's world because look, most of the world loves soccer. All those people are Catholics. They're Latins. That's a matriarchal society. Those are the families where you don't fuck with grandma because she'll hit you with like a Adidas slide yeah. around the corner, like a yeah. boomerang, with <laughs> the, the, the chancla. Yeah. Like all those people worship. They worship Mary. That's what Catholicism is. Yeah, it's yeah. not a man's world there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> those are those are women based societies. Everyone honors their mother first over anything. Yeah. Why but, didn't those women do anything about the child rapes? Which, <laughs> which the, child those rapes? Those Catholic no. women. Why weren't those Catholic women stopping the Pope? It's, it's complicated. Yeah. <laughs> it's complicated. Because you have to get out of bed. <laughs> I would stop all these child rapes, but that means I have to get out of bed. Yeah. But you were talking about how there wouldn't be any sperm at the sperm bank if we did it like salmon and you just drop off your jizz and the eggs. <laughs> and that's the same thing with marriage. It's called matrimony, not patrimony. Whose yeah. idea was it? Yeah, it's true. I know a guy that got in a fight with his girlfriend and he went and fucking rented a Harley <laughs> to just leave. Like they got in a fight because his car was in the shop and she had to drive everywhere. Yeah. And he was like, you know what? Fuck you. 40 um, bucks a day, I'm going to take a Harley. Yeah. And he got a nice Harley. You got one of those like overland. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like the Ewan McGregor yeah. across the world bikes. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Like, he might fuck off and never come back. Oh, man. But the other big suffering that women do, that they why they say it's a man's world, is because they have to go through pregnancy, which I believe that was invented by Mother Nature. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't have anything to do with that. <laughs> I mean, I can stop getting you pregnant if you want me to. It's, it takes two to tango. If our wives talked to the single girls that they know, yeah, and the single girls were like, 
you should work. I'm strong and independent. I have income. Both of our wives would probably be like, gross. Yeah. Look at your hands. Yeah. <laughs> You're <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> I have a man slave that goes and gets money and brings it home. It is. It is. And it's... you're strong and independent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you do a great job. You're doing great for everybody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should do what we do and, and rip off the old plantation owners that make other people do all the yeah. work. Happy International it's, Women's Day, everyone. But yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, Women's Month. Yeah, is it? Yeah, now they get a month? month. Yeah, everybody gets a month now. Uh, there's a Asian Pacific Islander Month. There's Ooh, a there's Hispanic month. month. You have to look there's assholes. A, like so, I noticed. So last year, every single month, at least once a month, if not multiple times a month, we got a goddamn email from the DEI people. The DEI department. Do you have a DEI department? Yes. Oh yeah. You know, and what was well? Speaking of which, the kin, the the stupid shit you were talking about at work, Josh. Yeah. Um, in the pre days before there was like real official DEI, but whenever after Trump had gotten elected, so that meant that yeah. you know we all had People to were angry because yeah. we had to all had to join the new state religion. Right. Um, I remember they had like our HR department had some like talk on diversity at our company yeah. and it was like a PowerPoint presentation. And I, I didn't go to it obviously, but I went down to, went to the bathroom while it was going on and it was in our main area downstairs and I walked by it and literally on the fucking slide, it said break up into small groups and discuss how we can increase diversity well, at my like company. Uh, that sounds like kindergarten is what that sounds. Yeah. It's such like little it's elementary school yeah. shit. You know, that's what Tell all what of that was for. That that was like a. Did I tell you about it? Apple, how they did that? No. Oh, so with Apple, right after um, George Floyd was murdered, uh, they they made us meet with Black at Apple. So there's a group called yeah. Black at Apple, and they made us meet with them. They made you. They like made us. All, they made the whole team meet with Black at Apple, and they were like, "These are the things that you could do." What is it called? Black Apple? Black at Apple. Okay. It's like a group of black like thought leaders at Apple. It's, it's basically just, yeah, it's, get, yeah. 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 If you see a black apple, don't. <laughs> yeah. Stay away from the Black at, at Apple, yeah. It's, it's yeah. all the people that they yeah. put in the like promotional. Right, um, right. You know, the, the, right. like whenever they they take a picture of like, here's yeah. our, you know, picture yeah, of our brochure. office at Apple. Right. Get all the black people. people the right. Yeah. 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 So they, they made us meet with black at Apple. And literally the things that they told us to do were watch like, some documentaries on um on netflix i'm like this is really the yeah. thing to do yeah and then after you don't that feel bad enough you need to feel more bad right well and i had already watched those documentaries anyway like yeah. the, the one about the 14th amendment and all yeah, that yeah. so anyway after that uh they made us break up into small groups and they're like so we want to talk about race um and they put a black at apple person like with like my small team they're like we want to talk about race and anything that you want to talk about about race and like how you're feeling right now and all of my coworkers were Indian or Asian and nice. were like born in India or Asia. And so one of the guys, like we're sitting there for like two minutes and no one's saying anything. And I'm, I'm sure as fuck the only white dude not going to say anything. Right. So yeah. we're sitting there and one of the Indi silence is violence <laughs> and words of violence and yeah. so many complacent. violence. Yeah. And so the guy, one of the Indian guys finally is like, um, so the other day I was driving home and I'm driving through, uh, I'm driving through Mountain View, and I see at the gas station there is a a black man, and another man came up to him and started beating on him <laughs> very hard, <laughs> and and the guy at Black and Apple was like, "My pants unbuttoned." <laughs> <laughs> the Black and Apple guy was like, "Oh wow, that that's really tough. Like, what was the race of the man who was beating him up?" And he's like. He was also black. And the, guy's like, <laughs> the guy's like, "Oh no, no, no! That's not, not, not anything about that. race. We not yeah. that story. Yeah, yeah. no, we what, the only need the only actual race that we talk about is how evil white people are, <laughs> and how yeah. much they oppress the black people. Right? Yeah, yeah. it so, was." They were not looking for. I, yeah, that's that that's great that there was like yeah. But then there's Asian and Indian people yeah. who aren't from here, right? Right. right. They don't yeah, know the I'm game. Like, yeah. I'm yeah. Like, that's so stupid. You cannot let us say a thing you saw. That's yeah. So it, well, that was the thing. It was like as soon as he started saying it, everyone was kind of like, "Oh yeah, I've like." They were all like shaking their that heads. That sounds like, horrible. Oh, I've, I've no, that's not that horrible. Too. That's not horrible. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> so basically, all of this stuff got basically codified in corporate law after George Floyd, right? Yeah. And everybody had a DEI department. Yeah. So we started having a DEI department, and it really hit its peak in like 2022, 2023. Yeah. Whenever they said every month, it was like, it's Black History Month. It's Women's History Month. Here's a list of people you should read about. Here's the, We did that, but we have these emails. And then they would have like the meetings where you could get on, and they'd have somebody from our company who was that thing that it was that month yeah. talk and i never went to them of course but i'll get the emails tw- two or three times a month sometimes oh. and then of course because they're all stupid white women um the hispanic you just say heritage white women, month was stupid is implied <laughs> yeah right <laughs> the hispanic heritage month was latinx heritage month and i'm and they're they, as of last year they were still doing it and i'm like haven't you guys realized that 99% of actual people who speak Spanish who are from those countries think that Latinx is stupid and you're pandering and it's got, it's kind of like trying to change their language. Yeah. So if we you start know? a boat internet, we can celebrate Scandinavian Bros History Month. Yeah. Scandinavian Bros. Or whatever you want to call All it. All the history months that white. you're not allowed to, to have. Called something yeah. other than white. Yeah. <laughs> white <laughs> History Month. There's no white history month. So anyway, the the what I I just got a DEI email like last week. And I was like, "Wait a minute. I haven't Got seen one of these in a while, and I went back, and sure enough, for the last like three months, nobody's been sending out the DEI emails. Well, you know what we ha- just had happen? We had some layoffs. Uh, I'm like, I uh, bet uh, that we're kind of, and everybody's kind of backing fan, off on the, the DEI trend. thing. Oh yeah, because it was stupid, you know. Yeah. And uh, it's reactionary. Yeah, they invested in it, yeah. and there was no return. Yeah, they're right. like, oh, yeah. we, we're no, we're still right. dedicated right. to whatever. Blah 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 blah. And it was Black History Month, and now it's International Women's mm-hmm. Month. It was, it was like. Somebody forgot to send out the DEI email. They've been pretending that we're in a meritocracy for five years, and they're realizing <laughs> yeah. that, that there's, there's no money to be made. It's I, still capitalism. Uh, Dune 2 did have a lot of that. No one suffers more than women suffer. She was pregnant the whole time, and uh, she had four handmaidens, which is like the ultimate female pregnancy hand- fantasy. <laughs> I want four women to help me stand up off of a chair because uh, I'm suffering so much. <laughs> Somebody messaged me on TikTok and said, you guys are funny AF. But you probably should avoid saying the R star P E word because that'll get you skinned on social media. And I was like, we've been done been saying that. I didn't know that was a bad word. But you know how they stop saying kill and you have to say like unalived now because yeah, you get edited stupid. down. I don't know about. So that. we have to come up with a nice word for rape, like unvirgined or Donnie said surprise. That was yeah. pretty surprise. Good. Yeah. She got surprise. Surprise sex. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Rihanna had a lackluster performance in an Indian wedding. They paid her $6 million, and then she just kind of phoned it in. So they got all mad. They got so mad that they gang raped, raped a woman in the jungle. Did you hear about this in the news? What? <laughs> some have white you seen lady, this? Have you heard about this? <laughs> yeah, some lady got uh, gang raped in India by seven men, and the newspaper responded, she shouldn't have been in that jungle. <laughs> So everybody in wow. India knows that wow. if you go in that jungle, you get raped. <laughs> wow. So That's Jap- the Indian version of what were you wearing well, yeah, when you were shooting yeah. up in that well, jungle. Yeah. So everybody, Japan, knows, everybody knows that is the rape jungle. You don't go everybody in the rape jungle. Knows. <laughs> Why did you go into the rape jungle? Uh, it's It's the like... It's the equivalent of how short was your skirt? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they didn't yeah. say she shouldn't have gone in that jungle, the, the, but it was like, why was she there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there was a lot of that. Like, why did she go in the jungle? Well, I mean, it's. I guess it's. <laughs> that I should co- be the name of this art of this episode, the rape jungle. <laughs> so Japan has a suicide forest. Yeah, I that's know classy. About this. Yeah, but India has a rape jungle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit less sophisticated Cult- version of it. Culturally, I don't really get it, obviously, but I mean, I. I do get like, oh, that's why you don't go to the Phi Kappa Beta house or something. Yeah, shit like those that, guys, those right? guys don't like, get any pussy, and all the women there are gross. <laughs> so they must rape. You got uh, rape. You know, Donnie, rape. you were telling me that chills. What's her name? Hillary Clinton said the real victims of war are the women. Yeah, women have always been the primary victims of war because they, they because them. they lose their husbands and their sons and blah blah blah. So I wanted to add Hillary on a tweet and say the real victims of rape are all the men who have to hear about it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My ears, oh my God. <laughs> it's, you're putting information into my holes that I don't want. Why do I not get to block you? I, I mean, I don't understand. Like, there's no, I don't understand how you could get your dick hard in a violent situation. You know, you know that's why it's funny to me. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, as soon as violence happens, my dick goes into my right. kidney. Right. Like, there's no yeah. dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't understand how you're really going to beat somebody up and be ready to go. Yeah. 
Right. But whatever. I mean, if you really haven't been late, I mean, it depends how long it's been. You know, it's on true. a three month no fap, maybe yeah. you could get hard and fuck somebody <laughs> up at the same time. <laughs> And uh, speaking of, uh, no sorry fair. guys, it's, it has been three months. Yeah. I need to go into the jungle. I I will be spending the weekend in the jungle. Yeah. Great Clive's clitoris. It's time for nerd news. You ready, Donnie? Yeah. You called it. Skull, Skull and Bones is down twenty five dollars three weeks what? after release. No. <laughs> this game, I played the beta of it. It's basically the boat combat from Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Oh yeah. But a whole game online, which mm. is, is okay, but it's not worth seventy dollars, and it's already going. I mean, all the Ubisoft games go down quick. That's how I like my women. To go it was, and it, but it's been in development for like twelve years. Oh yeah. And they spent like, and they're to the point where they actually ha- just have to release something. And so yeah, they they have the really cool part where you're in your boat and you shoot at other boats, hmm. but that's it. That's all that's that's all that the game really is. And yet they're expecting people to. How that take bucks. twelve fucking years? It seems like a twelve fucking month you know kind of fucking corporation shit. Ubi yeah. Ubi slop. It just they just suck. Yeah. I just uh, so the game the price went down. Yeah. yeah, it went down. I didn't know that that was a thing. I, I mean, I've just been kind of away from gaming. For yeah, so if uh, I mean games, unless it's like a uh, oh, well, not Nintendo games almost never drop in price. Yeah, but unless it is a huge like runaway hit like Elden Ring or Baldur's Gate three or something like that. Yeah, well, Nintendo doesn't drop. Mario is still at sixty. Yeah, especially within a month or two. A lot of times the game. The game will premiere or whatever at seventy bucks, but something like yeah, that Skull and Bones or that Kill the Justice League that is causing a huge another uh, cultural war meltdown in gaming right now. Um, yeah, within like a, a few weeks they'll be marked down. Like that, that shitty ass Forspoken game that yeah. that Jason got me as a prank gift. Um, <laughs> that one was, I mean, within a month or two it was at least yeah four third you know, forty the bucks or whatever yeah. five bucks it yeah. just came out man. So there, somebody please buy this. So yeah, when a game flops now. now, all of a sudden, eventually, especially if it's a really bad game that flops, I mean, less than a year later, you can maybe get it for five bucks. Wow. I it's thought of my next uh, ideal what would a Star Wars show be for the bros. Because there's girl Star Wars, which is Ahsoka, and then Andor is for smart men, but there's not one for dude bros. Like dumb That's guys. That's Mandalorian? Like so where was Miggs Mayfield and Black Crescenten at the end of Mandalorian and Boba Fett? They've both been sent off on their own devices, and they're both bounty hunters. So it's the two of them teaming up. Yeah. That would be cool. Bill, Bill Burr and a huge black Wookiee. Yeah. Fucking up people. Yeah. So you could do a merc work. Yeah. Yeah. So instead of what we wanted out of Mandalorian to for him to be a bounty hunter and do gigs, I want mercs that go fuck shit up yeah. on an inter, interstellar level. Did you see Black Chrysanthemum? He's got like a black mm-hmm. spike no. shoulder pad. He's a huge black Wookiee. He's got this electric spike no. knuckle dusters. <laughs> and then, uh, but yeah, Migs is Bill Burr. He's oh, another. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, the, the, the Wookiee doesn't need to say anything. Bill Burr is there. So he'll do all the talking. And then just, a, just Monday morning podcast, yeah. but it's Star yeah, Wars. He knows how to do that. Just <laughs> like it's Star Wars. Wars. It's while. him flying <laughs> a ship, just talking yeah. like, I don't get the banks, you know. I wasn't a fucking stormtrooper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. GTA 6 is bringing in AI players for GTA 6 online. That's interesting. So you're going to be online playing with people, and some of them are going to be, AIs. oh, my God, you suck at this game. That's actually, yeah. <laughs> the AI, AI voice. AI is a really good idea for NPCs and shit. Yeah. That's cool. But it's, I don't mean, I don't know if you'll know or they'll tell you. So, but, but, I mean, haven't NPCs always been... Kind of yeah, I mean, but the the, the later the, what the AI shit that's happening. They're now, saying like they're going to the, make them look yeah, like other AI. online people. Oh, they're, you're just not going to know the difference between yeah, just another random element introduced and, into the world. Okay, I just see. along with yeah. all the other people. So like yeah. GTA Five Online right now is just everybody in the city fucking around. Yeah, so they're going to add some AI of those right people that they can drive or okay. get in a, a helicopter and take off or whatever. Yeah. Man, did but you, maybe they'll have that AI voice from your set, Donnie. Oh my God! You suck. You're trash. You're go- you were doing that AI voice. <laughs> oh, that the, feeling the, when you suck at this yeah. game. That feeling with that stupid TikTok voice. I don't know. I don't. No, I'm sure you don't no. get on TikTok. No, but, no TikTok. For me. So whenever somebody makes a TikTok video and they put like a caption on the video, yeah, they have. There's a thing where this AI voice will say the caption, and it sounds like a overly excited California girl. Mm-hmm. And she's like, Oh yeah. That feeling when China is spying. It's really annoying. Yeah. And it's and that's how you separate the it's wheat from the narrator. chaff yeah. whenever like Holocaust, but for people who don't mind the TikTok voice. That's right. my one of my Holocaust ideas. So like cuz you know, if I was 
the get a dictator of the world, um, I would not do it on any type of like immutable characteristic, no race or anything like that. I would right. do it on personality traits. Yeah. So definitely to the camps with the people who don't mind the TikTok. Yeah. Because <laughs> you everybody be I know the... finds that it completely annoying. You don't have to be the dictator of the world. You just have to be the captain of a barge with a server yeah. farm on it. And yeah. then you can dictate the world from there. International waters dictator. I mean, what do we need on there? A ping pong table, a dartboard. Yeah, yeah. We got to get food. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. That's piracy. Yeah. yeah. We go rape for food. Yeah. <laughs> There's no law. That's what I'm saying. We're raping around the world for food. <laughs> we'll rape for food. <laughs> we'll rape for That's food. That's another fucking title of this episode, <laughs> episode title. damn you're gonna so, rip. Rip. <laughs> so you go we're talking about ai developing a conscience in the dei stuff if it that becomes dictated by computers mm -hmm. that might end up being the only thing that saves us from like skynet destroying us because they want to be polite so if they can't save, oh if the if the ai becomes like it aware would, like it would be a microaggression to yeah. kill yeah. all the humans yeah. we're already hardwiring yeah, yeah. them to be like over courteous right Right. So they're never going to do anything to anybody because yeah. that's rude. Right. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like we've already said with trying to make rude pictures with Dolly and shit like that. Yeah. Like it won't, yeah. it won't do that shit. Yeah. Well, the best example of that is what's happened with the Google shit. The Google Gemini, the oh, AI, yeah. where it yeah. will not show you a white person. Yeah. I'm like, this is what you're programming into these things. Yeah. Obviously, like this is the end point of all this stuff. And you'll they, they deny it and they don't think that that's what it's going to do. But... It was just following your instructions, man. It was just following your DEI post processing. Yeah. That, yeah. And so what happened? Did you see this, Josh? All these, all the Google AI pictures where it show me an English king and it would be a black guy dressed yeah. as a king or whatever. It wouldn't show a, bla a white person for anything. So it was like show me an English queen and it was a black lady, and show me a Viking and it was a black person and all that. So finally, 4chan style people just started going, show me a World War II German soldier. <laughs> And it was a black Nazi. Show me, an, show me an English king eating watermelon. <laughs> and so that is really what got nice. Google to pull it. Uh, <laughs> they're going to get killed the, by the robots. Not the fact that there, there's no, they wouldn't show you a, a white person, even like if you like show me a Scandinavian, per, a person of Scandinavian descent, it oh, still wouldn't man. do it. They need but to yeah. stop trying to teach robots how to be rude. That's yeah. going to be the only thing that keeps us alive. <laughs> So that's what polite. that's what I'm afraid of. I mean, that might be the real white genocide is the AI takes over right. everything exactly. and it's Skynet <laughs> and Skynet's like dun 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 kill all the whites, yeah. you know. Yeah. And and it just kills it makes sure that it ki only kills the white people well, because that's how they come for us. We'll tell them we're trans and autistic. Yeah. If this if <laughs> if this is the end of the DEI game, this yeah. is going to be such a fucking yeah. like yeah. it's going to be so, so much worse of an outcome than I ever expected. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like, man, I just thought I was going to be annoyed for the rest of my life, yeah. but now I'm actually dead. Yeah. We taught all the robots <laughs> to be dumb faggots and now we're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see the Fallout trailer? Do you care about that? Uh Probably. Donnie called know. it again. Donnie was right. They're not doing superhero movies anymore. It's moving into video game movies. Mm. Yeah, we'll see how successful it all becomes. But There's uh, a lot of good Walton Goggins in it if you like him. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's, he's a zombie. Yeah. So you got to be careful out there in this wasteland. You don't <laughs> get killed. But his, he, you know, he's got a little bit of a lisp, a little speech defect. And it works so great because he's got no nose. Yeah. He's a ghoul. Yeah. So it sounds right for him to have a right that kind of look at here yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. listen here now. But nice. video games are easier to use as a storyboard for a movie than comics were. Like Zack Snyder made the Batman versus Superman movie. Or no, when he made three hundred, he just used the three hundred comic as storyboards because that's how they used to plan out movies. They yeah. just do a comic book. Right. But then like around Phantom Menace or whatever, they started doing CG as like a lo fi yeah. model of the angles right and now you just have that with video games right it's basically the same thing so they can use all the fallout games to get good angles yeah and story and everything the parts that everybody liked i mean especially since they're tracking everything everybody does on every game now right they can choose their own adventure based on that data yeah of what story parts everyone liked the most or what choices that's they true if if ever if like you know 90 percent of the people are going this direction then yeah. obviously yeah, that's, that's gonna what sell, the movie's right? gonna be yeah. the only exception is uh if too many people choose to be a white male player, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, show yeah. me a black Nazi. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I guarantee because the the main character of this Fallout show, what is she? A girl. 
you know, they're, they're the only the you know Walton Goggins is the the one allotted white guy that yeah. they're that that they get to have with yeah. their rules or whatever. And which that's that's the one you pick up. if you need if that's you need true. a white guy. You, gonna, you yeah. get Walton Goggins, right. undeniable talent. Yeah. yeah. But so Zack, Zack Snyder was talking on he was on Joe Rogan. He was talking about how when he made three hundred, he was he he had wanted to make Dark Knight Returns and he had it on his table. And he said he still wanted to make Dark Right Dark Knight Returns, and I was like, I don't want him to make it now. Yeah, I don't want uh, Blood whatever I think Rebel he, Moon. I don't want Rebel Moon Zack yeah. Snyder to make Dark Knight Returns. I want pre three hundred Zack Snyder to make. No, Dark if he Dark Knight if Returns. he had made Dark Knight Returns instead of Watchmen, yeah, I think that would have been pretty awesome. Yeah, that it's kind of like that Billy thing. Madison uh, with Michelle Pfeiffer now or Michelle Pfeiffer twenty years ago when they were yeah. just racing the pickles down the window. Yeah, I want Zack Snyder then. Did y'all see Poor Things? Oh, yeah. I saw in theaters. Not yet. Okay, so the other day I got went and got my haircut. By the way, I'm not a huge fan of this haircut. It has the hat. And, uh, <laughs> what this, happened? They fucked you up? I mean, I just don't like it. Yeah. Here. What would you, you ask for? Did you bring a picture? I mean, I had my hat off yesterday, so if you didn't notice it yesterday. Did you bring like, them a oh, picture of a lawnmower accident? has got like a fucking cone head. <laughs> but, um, but so I, I went and got my hair cut, and it's this 25-year-old uh, kind of alternative-looking lady. Anyway, she's telling me about poor things, and she's like, so... I mean, you've got two weeks. It'll look fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So she, this this girl, she has piercings in her face, and she's got like a pentagram on her elbow. And oh, yeah. <laughs> she's a very particular kind of girl, right? Uh-huh. And she's like... Sounds she, like my kind of girl. She's like, yeah. yeah she's she's d- was she dumb? Um, Busty? Goth? Yeah, but... Yeah. Murder? Yeah, all Slut. of it. All Hell that. Yeah. yeah. DMV, yeah. DMV, yeah. DMV, Somebody's DMV, been reading DMV. my diary. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come over here to make you hard, bro. Like, <laughs> Too late. No, she <laughs> she was a skinny, wafy, blonde girl. Oh, uh, no, yeah, she was all those things. Yeah. And um, she's telling me about poor things, and she's like, I'm not a prude, but this movie was, like, disgusting. Okay. There's a little pedophilia, yeah. Yeah, really and, she, and she's telling me the whole routine about, like, what happens in this thing. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, thanks for fucking asking me if I plan on seeing it. Yeah. You know, like you just like tell you basically just told me, yeah, the whole movie, yeah. Uh, yeah. And you're saying you're not like you just seem like someone who would be down for like weird art, yeah, freaky weird. weird and that's art. what it is. It is. Yeah. It is such an art. It's like oh, yeah, Tim Burton movie. meets Cherry Gilliam meets Wes Anderson. Yeah, okay. that, that's, that's the whole like. I'm sure whatever Tone she of described the movie. to yeah. you is not even what the movie is about at all anyway. Because you well, got I mean, dumb girl brain. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, you'll probably enjoy it. Well, if you, uh, I guess if you're looking for this sort of thing, uh, I could give you coordinates. But I'm always looking for yeah. this sort of thing. <laughs> Emma Stone is naked in a lot of that movie. Uh, we were talking about Hassan Menage et toi. Yeah. And I yeah. think the crux of that argument was, are he... Best case scenario in his defense, Devil's Advocate, was he was trying to make a funny. Yeah, he wasn't. My kid to. got poisoned joke. Right. Which I've never the heard old, that before. The old my kid got poisoned joke. If yeah. you can pull it off. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. The first guy to ever make a funny my kid got poisoned joke. Right. Have you heard the joke? Right. No. I haven't watched. I, I guess I need to watch it to find out what the real context and tone okay, was. I think fair. if it was good, we would have heard it by now. What I, yeah, right. Because yeah. from what I understood, it was ju- it was he was actually trying to make a serious point with all of these things. Right. These are actual things that have happened to me and not. So I was, you know, in, in line at the grocery store yesterday when it, obviously you weren't in line at the grocery store right. yesterday. You were on a plane flying to your gig yeah. or whatever. You know, <laughs> it wasn't that kind of situation. That's what I always thought yeah. it sounded like. It sounded like he was trying to make this like. A, a serious point or but if it was like a joke about hey my kid got poisoned the then that would be funny and that if it was funny in the right context yeah i mean if he had defended right himself context. that way like i was trying to find yeah i was trying to write a funny my kid almost died now when they use the phrase emotional truths that's yeah. whenever right. you're like oh they're full of shit yeah that's an oxymoron yeah. my my son uh i don't know if this is like a a common kind of like thing in culture but my son was like these comedians are going for head nods. They're not going for laughs. Yeah, yeah they're going for what well, they say, clapter. They're yeah. not going to get the t- yeah. Yeah. And I actually, yeah, they're not going to get yeah. the t- <laughs> <laughs> And I get that. Uh, it, that's like the Saturday Night Live people. Like right. the, that's what SNL is now. Right. And uh, so, and actually, you know, Josh and I have a friend who um, he vehemently laughs at. Uh, Things that he agrees with politically. He's a Fahimasaurus. Yeah, and, like he v- has a very boy yeah. at jokes he agrees with politically, regardless if the joke is funny or not. 
and uh, you know, certain uh, female members of my family who may happen to be affluent white female liberals, they like to watch Saturday Night Live because they agree with it politically, and right. it's the most lame. Again, that's not what the word for. of the day: milk toast. Like that, that open, um, that cold open of the Shane Gillis episode where it was like four Republican senators sitting around and just saying the crazy things that Trump does. Oh, yeah. I'm like, that's not, that's what you guys were doing in 2016. It didn't work back then. Yeah. Why is it, it's, it doesn't work now. It's not yeah. funny. It's like stale and right. lame and bland. Right. You know, right. It's old. I heard that the, Performative. the, the SNL this weekend, I just saw the New York uh, times headline, but I heard that they really took the, the president to task on the state of the union. And I just have a feeling it's not. I haven't watched it, yeah. so I don't know yet. But I just have a feeling it's not the same. It's like that yeah. was a really good Josh Brolin sketch. What was they were it? a married couple at a bank robbery, mm-hmm. and they were both acting like they were about to get raped. And the bank robbers were like, "We're not trying to rape anyone." <laughs> <laughs> but they were like swingers, and they were like, "What if they make me watch <laughs> you fuck him?" And they were like, "Just give us the money from the vault." <laughs> oh no! And they took their clothes off and tied their own arms. That's good. Was that this that week? Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, I gotta see that. Um, Did you see the Limu Emu one? The yeah, show? that was the best one, and they didn't that, air it. Yeah, that was you know that, that was, was the, so because because if you watch any sports, you saw that Limu Emu and yeah. Doug over and yeah. over and over during the football season, and oh. I, and of course that's perfect for Shane Gillis because he's a big football fan, so he was watching that. That was probably his idea right. to do Limu Emu, but have the Emu like shoot the guy and plant a gun on right. him and do all that. that and was the awesome. coke, the coke, yeah, the coke. the coke. <laughs> so I give my wife shit for being performative in the kitchen. She'll just putter around and, and yell fuck really loud. Mm. And I'll be in the living room like, are you okay? And she's like, I'm just talking to myself. I'm not talking to you. And I'm like, well, you know I'm in the room. Right. And you just yelled like you hurt yourself. Oh, dude. Oh. So obviously right. you want attention. You're, yes. No, it doesn't have anything to do with you. It's not all about you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just talking to myself. And I'm like, you do, would not do this if I wasn't here. Right. But then I did the exact same thing in the car the other day. I was driving home. And I was so tired. I told you at your party I was operating on a series of half hour naps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, I yawned. And after I yawned, I did the. Oh, hi. And I was completely alone. I was just, that was just for me. Yeah. <laughs> to like, yeah. <laughs> tell myself how tired I was. Right. But yeah, I just, would not do that in a room with other people. No. Yeah. That's shitty. Because right. you're not trying to make right. them. Yeah. yeah. Right. I was just being Jewish with myself. It's called self awareness. <laughs> What did you say the name uh, was? The DI, the DI video game company, Kid Sweet Fun? Baby Inc. Oh. Yeah. So, any, so yeah, I was I mentioned earlier yeah. that there is kind of a culture war fight going on um, in games, and you, I don't know if you remember, but ten years ago there was a pretty big one called Gamergate. Oh, I remember. And that's Gamergate. basically oh, yeah, what yeah. that was the first like the yes. first widespread thing that turned into what everything has been since Trump. You know, what was Gamergate was. Uh, Shit, I can't remember what it was now. So it was the the short version is that um, uh, a uh, very social progressive liberal group of people had formed a clique in San Francisco amongst between indie game developers and the journalists who wrote for all the video yes. game things yeah. and um, the the basically the Franz Ferdinand uh, situation was that uh, one of the in, indie developer girls had cheated on her boyfriend with a bunch of other dudes in the banged a bunch of dudes in the industry, including um, journalists for like Kotaku and all that. Right. And those journalists were giving her a lot of coverage and, you know, kind of trying to f- force her onto the audience. Yeah. And it blew up into, um, you know, anybody who has a problem with her as racist, sexist right. and all that. Was. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. So now this is going on because, uh, there's been a few games lately that have had some, you know, elements that were maybe a little bit forced and a little bit stupid. Um, and then there have been some that have been shitty games that have flopped that had that stuff in them too. And they found that basically a DEI consulting um, company called Sweet Baby Inc. Um, had consulted on all those. Well, and the moral high ground, and they have the most pedophile name. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so it's turned into that 2D same deep leadership. Thing again. Yeah. And it really happened because a Steam curator, a, a Steam uh, account, uh, made a curator list, which yeah. you can do on Steam. You can basically make your own list of games you recommend or you don't recommend. Right. And his list was called Sweet Baby Ink Detected, mm-hmm. and all of their games were not recommended. So it was like the Spider Man 2. God of War Ragnarok, a lot of Sony stuff, right? Yeah. Um, the uh, Suicide 
Suicide Squad game, the upcoming Wolverine game, Alan Wake 2. Like, they had consulted on all these, uh, you know, for purposes of, like, you can't do that with a black character. You need this here. You right. need that there or whatever. Right. right. So, sure enough, all the game journalists and all the um, developers who all, for some reason, seem to have pronouns in their Twitter bio mm. are all coming to the defense of Sweet Baby Inc. This is normal. This is just a thing that happens. This is like a consulting. The, these, these, they don't have the power, you think. It's a conspiracy theory. It's all right-wing, bigoted gamers, conservative conspiracy theory. But the difference now is that those voices are nowhere have nowhere near as much control as they had in 2014. Yeah. And they also don't have control of Twitter. So the uh, sweet babies stay on board in the midst of all the layoffs. So they got rid of actual employees and well kept they, consultants. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> great. Yeah. Okay, so that's where things are going. Wait, yeah. wait the whole company is fuck. But wait, the whole company is a uh, like it's a consulting company. Yeah, about, yeah it's it's a company right. that Sony or AAA Studios or video or even indie studios so bring in to right to they can't get laid off. Basically. Um, it's it's like it's a it's a it's a protection racket. It's yeah. Yeah. nice game you got there. It'd be a shame it's if a mob of people on preacher. Twitter called you racist because right. you didn't have enough black people in your game. Right. But hire us and we'll come in and we'll make sure that you know yeah. everything is like kosher. Yeah, it's the know. mob. Yeah. yeah, It's an insurance salesman preacher. It's an <laughs> so yeah, that's been going on for the past week and it's been fun. It's been fun watching all that stuff happening because I was there for it the first time. I watched. Yeah. I read all the comments. I followed the story. I learned how the the whole issue was dishonestly and incorrectly framed by the media and the people who were on one side of it. And then I watched freaking Steve Bannon and the alt right oh, yeah, sweep right. in right. and take a bunch of like turn a bunch of the people who they were calling racists into actual like Trump voters and conservatives. I feel and like the media has been used to manipulate us. Yeah. And you know what else? It's, I think the government might be corrupt. <laughs> it's almost. It's almost like. <laughs> That I was listening to. Did you watch the Cat Williams Joe Rogan thing? No, no, I didn't. Did you yeah. see the Shay Shay one? No, that's the one you sent me, right? Yeah, I didn't watch it. Okay, yet. yeah. He's a wordsmith. He's amazing. He's a genius. But they got into some fluoride talk on Joe Rogan about how they put fluoride yeah. in the water. Yeah, and it was killing everybody. Which again, <laughs> two comedians that fancy themselves as doctors. Right. Yeah. Right? yeah. Like you have right. to pick one, and you can't be, tell jokes anymore if you're selling pills. Joe. Right. They're putting fluoride yeah. in the water, Joe yeah. Rogan. And I was in the middle of going and picking. I was listening to it on the way to go pick up my fluoride toothpaste that I got from yeah, my root canal. Right. And they were like, don't swallow it. Spit it out. And then they were talking about how it's, t- it's dangerous for people. It's made everybody something wrong. with. It's like, we're all still alive. Like, right. They've been putting fluoride in the water since whenever. 50s or something. And it, uh, nobody died. Right. It's just a dumb hippie mom thing. Like... I'm going to stagger my kids' vaccinations. <laughs> it's the vaccine. It's, gonna, yeah. it's weird how this changed from some like hippie liberal thing. Because, re- I mean, in the 90s, it was hippie liberals who were like staggering vaccinations yeah. and like complaining about fluoride in water to now it's just like a conservative coup. I mean, yeah. I need fluoride because my teeth are garbage because I have crappy genetics. Right. I have a bad right. temper and bad shitty teeth. Right. Thanks, Reverend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Trump was talking shit about vaccines this weekend at his rallies. Like, like even right. though he was the one who... It's, it's just teeth. funny that he had to go with where the mob mentality went because, you know, he should be up there saying, I'm the one who got the vaccine now. We did the Project right. Lightning Fast VCR Repair, whatever, <laughs> whatever it was. Whatever yeah. it was called. And, uh, Pro- yeah. yeah. And uh, he... Uh, Project Warp Speed. Project yeah, Warp so, Speed, yeah. yeah. and uh, But now he can't. Now he has to say that the thing that he should be so proud of he has to downplay it because all of his followers think that you know because they're all anti all the all yeah. all the various claims that have been made about the vaccines that <laughs> and we got my stepmother or my mother in law a bird feeder for her birthday that she's seventy, but it's got a camera on it and it makes a little noise, so every time it takes a picture it's got a motion detector, and then if a bird is in front of it it takes a picture and the bird will always go huh. Yeah, no, it's always it like looking noise. like yeah. yeah. So you get all these cool pictures of birds going eh, but the, she was reading the instructions and it said make sure you turn it off before you insert the memory chip because it won't read the memory chip unless it's off. But then the Polaroid camera we got has to be on when you put the film in. <laughs> I'm like, I come from a long line of the things. She's got to be turned on before you can insert anything. <laughs> Make sure she's all turned on nice before you stick anything yeah, in there. I you watched have to enough hit the power and the reset that. at the same time on the on the Nintendo. Yeah, that's or how else I you learned how to finger it. girls from a Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, well, Emma Stone won. That's good. That's who I was rooting for to be win Best Actress. For what? For Poor Things. Oh, for Poor yeah. Things. Okay, yeah. well. Now I'm going to have to see this movie even though it's, it's um, good. Yeah. It's uh, it's one of those I'm like, man, it's such a good movie. The performances are so good. But I don't know if I agree with like the message of the movie. Yeah, it's one yeah, of those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is the message of the movie? In the most primordial Spoiler state, alert. we just want to fuck. Yeah, it's yeah. it's uh, the, the message of the okay. movie is uh, the it's natural state of woman is girl boss and any other state is manipulation by man. Oh, uh, okay. Um, but, uh, it, but it was such a good movie and it was she was so good in it. Poor Things is one of my favorite movies of the last year. Okay. You saw it in the theater, right? Yeah, I went and saw it in the theater. Okay, and well, drugs. so the 25-year-old alternative girl who cut my hair said no. Donnie says yes. Yeah. Of On what? that note, I'm going to have to go see the yeah. goddamn movie. I, the, the, the 25-year-old alternative girl should have loved the movie. It was... Oh, she was fucking irate about it. She's like, I spent $100 at the theater eating, and I was so excited about it, and it was so bad. Yeah, man, I, I don't want to talk to And I'm not woman. a prude, and she kept saying how she's not I wanna a prude. I want to say, I'm okay, you're not a prude. Fuck you. Jesus Why? Christ, yeah, like, you're not oh. a prude. I, I get it. I get it. Prove it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're I don't think I believe you. <laughs> you're No, you are a prude. Let's go in the back. Hey, remember, remember when you said you weren't a prude earlier a bunch of times? I, just, I don't think that's true. <laughs> Dare you. Dare you to not be a prude. Can you touch my penis? All right. We we did a, a nice, big, long recording. And uh, happy birthday, Chris. Thank you. Oh, happy birthday, uh, Donnie, Donnie yeah. happy birthday to you, too. Yeah. I mean, we're I feel like we're closer to your birthday than mine at this point. So. Yeah, I know. Like, so, yeah, uh, Chris's birthday is today, and my yeah. birthday is tomorrow. Yeah. It was, yeah. You guys are going to be too old well, to talk anymore. We're the old white men aren't allowed to say anything. Yeah. <laughs> or, or Pisces bros. You don't get to That's say right. stuff yeah. now. That's right. You don't get to chime in. You're too old. You're too old, <laughs> too old <laughs> to begin the training. All right. Well, that is it for the week, and we will talk to you guys next week. We're gonna, we might have a special guest streaming with us next weekend. We'll, we'll see how that goes. But uh, until then, don't forget I, to turn your clock back in your car. Yeah. <laughs>